Welcome Virgo to your August reading. I am Robin Carlion from Robin's Authentic Wellness and I am using the Moonology deck which we just or I just received a card from for you and we also have the Archangel Tarot which I'm going to shuffle now and let's see what we receive. I wanted to thank you Virgo for all of oh there we go Oh my, that's really amazing energy. Really very in line with your earth energy, Virgo. Mm. Um, yes, I wanted to thank you for all of your subscriptions. I wanted to thank you for your support, your comments, your likes. I really wholeheartedly appreciate that. Thank you very much for your support. Okay. So now I'm using and shuffling from the Rider Waite Tarot deck. <clears throat> There's five, nope, there is 10 cards that I will be shuffling. And wow, oh my, okay. That, <laughs> wow, hmm, okay. Um, we're also going to have, so 10 cards from this deck and we're also going to have a signifier card as well and I will show you that when we are finished okay so I'm going to accept these three cards here so just bear with me while I finish the rest of the deck man I'm getting a <laughs> it's very very uh, very pinpointed information just loaded with information from the first cards that I pulled from the Moonology and from the um, Archangel Tarot, it kind of surprised me with the other cards that came up, but uh, wow. So almost done with the, okay, perfect. And then we just have our last card, our outcome card. see what you receive Virgo okay hmm okay here you go the four of swords so four of swords is the signifier contemplating meditating reflecting deep in that thought, that thought process. So that, hmm, it, it makes sense with this reading. So let's get started. I can't wait. Okay, so for your first two cards, the first one from the Moonology deck, this one here is Prosperity Lies Ahead. This is New Moon in Taurus. So New Cycles Beginning Virgo. Um, very in line with your earth energy. Now, the second card here, again, it's that earth energy and it's that page in Ariel. And this one here is an excellent opportunity will be offered to you, scholarships or the pursuit of education. Time to get to work. So taking action. So that, that earth energy, taking action, doing the work to make it happen. So with that earth energy, there's that physicality, there's that taking action, there's that that movement to, to create and to build and to restructure even your foundation. That's been a big word that I've been using for myself is restructure. So with your foundation, your foundation is good. You've been building up on this foundation, but it's okay to remove some things from the foundation and to replace them with something else, with something new, with new beginnings. And that earth energy, again, even though that is the new moon, there was that cycle that had to end. So there are cycles that do need to come to a close 
in order for you to move forward and add that new piece in. So that restructuring, it's a very, very good thing. And that's the overlying energy that I'm feeling here. So next card, this is the first card. Now, this one here, this one is the Eight of Swords. So feeling stuck, feeling stuck in a decision. And we all feel this way from time to time. We all have these feelings of, are, thing, are things going to work out? We have those feelings of, when are they going to work out? Why aren't they working out? What can I do to make them work out? So here is your next card here, the magician. So that fantastic, amazing energy here. So with this one, you have everything that you need. You have everything that you need. It's all laid out for you on the table. It's all there for the taking. You have that infinity symbol as well. Yeah, okay, because you have another one that has the infinity symbol in here as well. That's really cool. I love it. I love this, but look at this lushness. Look at the lushness. So that lushness, that's leading to that's leading to prosperity. That's leading to things are going to work out. Now, in my own experience with things working out, a lot of patience is required. A lot of patience and decision making is required. So this is like the situation, okay? So this, all of this, you have everything that you need, you're feeling stuck and there is a decision. This could relate to some of you right now and this could relate to other people later on. So this is the reading for August. So making a decision, making a decision that is right for you. Again, there's that new cycle and there's that old cycle. Are there things that you're gonna keep from that old cycle? Are you gonna keep the old cycle all together because you're not ready to let it go? Are you ready to move on? Are you ready to restructure? Are you ready to remove things? And are you ready to put new things into the mix? What is it that you are ready to do? So, <clears throat> This one here, it, it's almost like it, it, it just talks exactly about what I just said with the situation. So we have, you have the moon card here. So Virgo, the moon card, there's that emotion. With that feeling that what is it? The struggle, the struggle, because that moon card, it rules our emotions. And so it rules your emotions. So for strength, you have the strength. Again, like with the magician card, you have everything that you need. You have everything that is required. You have that infinity symbol. Here you are, very relaxed, very in your element. And you have that strength. You have that foundation. You have that forward movement. And speaking of forward movement, you have the two of wands, the two of fire and you're holding the world in your hand. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. And seeing here again, there's so much lushness. There's so much abundance that is available to you. So it's, it, it's all about making a decision, making a decision in, in where you want to go. Where are you, where, what are you ready to do? Is there fear? that is standing in your way. I find that just, just, just doing it and taking the action. And then when, when you actually do it, it's not that bad. 
it's not that bad when you when you're in the midst of it and then you realize and even afterwards you're like wow why didn't I do this earlier why didn't I do this before so there's that coulda woulda shoulda but just making those decisions really believing in yourself that strength card the emotions from the moon from the moon card yeah like I just I really just picked up some heavy heavy emotions from some of you I know this is a general reading I just really feel that this decision and these decisions that you're making for yourself these are going to have like a big impact on your life so moving forward really like that's why you have these two cards coming up in your situation and circumstance making that decision feeling stuck not wanting to take movement or like i i get it i totally understand like that paralyzing fear of moving forward or um really uh okay so um releasing and this is a huge lesson that i've learned over and over again um is is taking the outcome out of the equation stop like avoid trying to control how things are going to work out it's kind of like and you don't have the tower card here but it's kind of like i feel like it's kind of like a tower moment where things are kind of like falling falling all around and you're trying to grasp and put it back but but you can't because it's not supposed to you're supposed to allow these things to fall away you're supposed to allow the cycle to end so whatever that is for you and if it's more than one for some of you I can feel that it's more of one cycle that needs to end and again, we have another three cards. And this one here, um, the placement for this is like the immediate future. So this one here is the hangman. So looking at things from a different perspective. I'm really getting um, like, Stop thinking about what the outcome is going to be. Just make those decisions. The universe has your back. So when I say like I've learned that lesson over and over and over again, I've also learned the universe like just makes everything um, so, so much better when you listen. When you listen to the messages that you're receiving, the universe, spirit, um, sometimes it's like you, when when you listen and when you're flowing and when you're allowing the messages to come in and you're just you're just taking that action and not having any sort of um, uh, expectation of what the outcome is going to be, it's almost like the universe like gives you hands you like this package, this gift with like a pretty little bow on it, and you're just like, oh my gosh, thank you. And so, and and I have learned that over the years allowing yourself to there's Dexter in the background allowing yourself to hey Dexter allowing yourself to remove the outcome from the equation avoid trying to control the situation because when you try and control it it's not going to work out it's going to keep giving because it's not supposed to work out it's not supposed to work out. So the universe is going to say, hey, you know what? I'm just going to keep making this more and more difficult for you because this is not your path. It's time to move into a new path. And I know because it can be so frustrating, it's time to surrender. It's time to surrender. Say, universe, you know what? I surrender. Please tell me what to do. And so we have the king of cups so there is again that really strong strong emotion so we've had the strength card we've had the moon card um and like i'm just feeling like there's a lot of feelings there's a lot of feelings here virgo 
that you are dealing with. And we have the change card here. This is the five of swords. So looking at this card, seeing this card that there are people that are leaving the situation and there are this, the, the swords represent air energy. So air energy would be that mindset energy, um, the thought process, um, that, that, um, feeling that lack. So whether that, wherever that lack is, like that lack in self-love, that lack in worth, um, maybe there's a money lack. So really looking at things from a different perspective and allowing yourself to let these leave. Let the people leave and in your situation, if the if it is the people, it could be places or things as well, but those thought processes, those old, old beliefs, the old ways that you used to think, those thoughts need to change. You are worth it. You are worth making those changes for. So changing your mindset, changing the way that you think about things. And see, there's two swords here, and this person is moving away with that renewed mindset, the positive mindset. And then again, we have another three cards. So this is like lots and lots of information here, Virgo. A lot of information and kind of like almost being taken back by all that's here but I love that when spirit comes through spirit like very very pinpoint pinpointed in the information that it wants to share with you and again it is a, a general reading and I know that sometimes I will say you know take what resonates I really do feel that there are different stages going on here. And so if you're watching this and you're like, yeah, you know what, none of this is happening in my life, there may be things that, that um, are going to be coming up. Or maybe this is a time for you to reflect and maybe these are things that you've already dealt with. I'm just really feeling that there is, um, like just, just to keep this in the back of your mind, kind of like that planted seed. So whether that is the um, changing the mindset, um, whether that is, you, you know, you have that strength and you, there's, like, you can do anything that you want to do. You can do absolutely anything that you want to do. And I know that for a fact because I did that myself. I chose the life that I wanted and I'm living it. And sure, there's sometimes it's a struggle and then sometimes there was a struggle. And sometimes like everything just falls into place. And as long as I just keep listening, everything keeps working out. And it's, it's really, really incredible when you listen, when you listen to spirit, when you listen to the universe, and when you know that there's higher ups, it's like whatever you believe in, if it's God, if it's the universe, if it's source, if it's spirit, or whatever else you want to call it, that there is something bigger than us and that is here to support us and wants us to achieve and to be happy and to live our best life. So now again, loving this. So moving further on into the future here is um, the world card. Look at that. So completing the cycle, Virgo, completing the cycle, feeling that bliss, feeling that abundance. That's absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous. So again, we have a very, very strong card here. So Queen of Swords, that mindset change. Look at that. That change of mindset. 
when we start practicing gratitude, when we start practicing our affirmations, when you affirm your life and what you want in your life, things will move in the direction that they're supposed to move in. And it will feel extremely abundant. It will feel extremely like prosperity lies ahead. It will feel so lush, so abundant, so joyous, so happy. But you have to choose that. You have to choose that for yourself. And now the third card here, again, is that moving away. So look at that, that, that mindset that's, it's stuck in the ground and it's staying there and you're moving with the lighter energy. You're moving with that lighter energy. You're moving away. You are leaving with what you want because your journey is what you want. All that matters is you. All that matters is your mindset, your life, what it is that you want to do. So now when we look at that and when I say that all that matters is you, yes, we have family. Yes, we have, we have all of these other things that are going on around us. We have this exterior world, but we also have an interior world, which we're actually going to be getting to in just a moment. But if you're not happy, if you're not fulfilled, then you're not going to be vibrating that energy out. When you're not feeling your best, it's going to show and people are going to feel it. You want to be living your absolute best life. Because when you do that, the other people around you, they just automatically start shifting in their own ways and they could align with you. And it just makes for a more flowing, happier place of being when you are putting yourself first. It's not selfish to put yourself first. It's honoring yourself and it's realizing that you are here living this life for however long you're here to live it and it's so important that you put yourself first. So moving on to the interior energy. Really amazing. So we have the page of wands. So the page of wands, this is that new cycle, that new energy, that new renewed foundations that are happening. And look at that, that hard work that you're putting in. You're creating abundance. You're creating the life that you want. Waiting for the harvest. You've done the work and now you're waiting patiently. Remember when I was talking about that patience? There's a lot of patience that we have to have when we are doing the right thing, when we are doing the work, but we're, we're thinking, remember at the beginning where I'm just like, when is it going to happen? When is this going to change? Why isn't this changing right now? Like I'm doing the work. There's that patience. There's that patience that you need to have but the work that you're doing is definitely going to pay off. Prosperity lies ahead. So keep doing that work, but please make sure that you are removing any blockages. Please make sure that you are removing any naysayers, that you are, you are, you are removing people that don't show or show that support and that belief in you. We all have those people in our lives and we just really avoid having them in our day-to-day -day lives. And we, we reach out to our tribe. We reach out to our like-minded people. So I encourage you to keep moving on in your direction that you want to move in and really build, build, build on your foundation. We all have our foundation set, but you can always restructure it. You can always build on it. Your life doesn't have to be exactly where it is if you're feeling stuck in this moment. Now, 
with the Hierophant card. Again, this is change. And from this one here, so this is the, the hopes, dreams, and fears. So from this one here, I'm really picking up that there is, there's that belief, there's that trust in yourself. So really, really believing, believing in spirit, believing in the universe, but the universe really wants you to know that that trust and belief in yourself really, really believe that you can do anything that you want. So believe that this very, very strong, strong supportive energy is here for you. And there is that change. There is that change for you to make those movements, those forward movements in your life, Virgo. And we also have the Five of Pentacles. Now this is the outcome card here, okay? So this one, this one is, you're not going to be feeling left out in the cold. Things are changing. This is a five card. So you have three five cards. Yeah, three five cards. So you have this one here. You have the Five of Pentacles. You have the Five of Swords, so changing that mindset. And then you also have the Hierophant. So that belief, that belief in yourself, the belief in the higher power, the belief that the universe has your back. So the hopes, dreams, and fears, those fears of, can I really do what I want to achieve? Well, yes, you can. There's so many inspiring people out there that have done so many things that even later in life, they have made such an impact and they really truly believed in their self and basically said like, well, why not me? Why not me? Why not you? Of course you can. You can do whatever you wanna do. You have so much support and to realize how much support you actually have. Spirit, the universe is so wondrous. There is so much magic. There is so much amazing miracles that happen every single day. And I, I speak this with conviction because I've seen it and I've felt it and I've experienced it myself. And throughout my life, um, there's been so many shifts and changes, but I've always stayed true to myself and I've always stuck to it and it's always worked out. Yes, there's been struggles, but they've always been overcome because I kept believing. Yes, there were those times when I was like, oh my gosh, like, why is this not working out, you know? And there is the, you know, I'm doing all the work, but it doesn't seem to be happening. It's that patience. It's that huge amount of patience that we have to have for ourselves and really showing the universe that we trust and we believe because yes, it, it kind of, it, it can kind of seem agonizing, but the universe, will provide as long as you are doing your work and making sure that you are honoring yourself. And by doing that gratitude, that gratitude, it really increases your vibration. So when you're increasing your vibration, you are attracting that higher quality energy, doing your affirmations, starting a journal, writing down your intention. So with this new moon energy that you have for this prosperity lies ahead, write some intentions down for yourself. Also, and it doesn't matter if it's a new moon, full moon, or whenever you're watching this video, it doesn't matter even when in the cycle of the month, what day it is, it doesn't have to be a new moon or a full moon in order to write intentions down or whether to write down and um, you can burn, submerge in water or rip up and you know, bury it in the ground or something like that. However you do your um, ceremony for the full moon release, if that's something that you do, a lot of people burn it, but just burn it in a safe way. Um, so, but you can do it at any time, any time that you want. There doesn't have to be a specific time. So if you're really feeling called to write down these intentions, um, or to restructure your goals, 
go ahead. It's okay for you to shift things up. Things don't have to be so regimented all the time. Um, really allowing yourself to get out of your head. Um, that's what I'm really, really feeling is that those mindset changes, um, the things that you say to yourself, the words that you say to yourself, they need to shift. So looking at things from a different perspective and with the overlaying card here, we have the, the four, like I said in the beginning, we have the four of wands. So really taking some time to meditate, to really reflect and to reflect on what it is that you really want to do for yourself. Where do you want to go in your life? What is your path? Where are you moving towards? What do you need to let go of? Who do you need to let go of? Sometimes it can be very, very hard. It can be very scary. You have that, that aspect of fear, but when you move through it, on the other side is bliss. There's that freedom, that freedom to make those choices, to do what you want. And for you to have this renewed sense. So this one here was a little bit heavy, um, but a lot of really amazing information. And again, it really depends on where it is for you. Whether I just, I just feel that if it's not happening, there's something that could be happening in the future. And, uh, you want to just keep this in your, in the back of your mind that the mindset to release that things are always going to work out for you, Virgo. You are that earth energy. Really, really like connect, connect to yourself, connect to your inner knowing, connect to the universe. So I thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comment below. If you would like your own personal reading, there is a link below. And if you would like to purchase any of the cards that I have used, the links are all below. I thank you so much. Love you. Mwah.